Dear my colleagues, I am Dr. Veysel Oktay. I am an associated professor in Istanbul University Cerrahpaşa Institute of Cardiology and I am working as an interventional cardiology in this hospital. As you know that hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is an inherited genetic disorder and commonly seen in the most population. As you know that the patients have severe symptoms like as chest pain, dyspnea or palpitation and most of the patient have a gradient and have a left ventricular obstruction. So when we are implanting a septal reduction treatment as septal alcohol treatment, we can resolve this problem. Today we have a patient with a very very severe symptoms and we make a septal reduction therapy. And now we measure the peak to peak gradient for our patient and we confirm that there is a 18 mm peak to peak gradient between the out and left ventricle. We are inserting a temporary pacemaker because as you know that there is a little chance of any rhythm anomalies during the procedure. In this step, we take a picture of the left main system and identify the septal artery branch. For passing through the septal artery, we are using a floppy guide wire. For this procedure, we are using an over-the-wire balloon. In this procedure, we are performing contrast echocardiography and you are seeing that we are preparing our contrast agent. As we performed echocontrast echocardiography and now we see that at the portion of the basal and the mid portion of the septum, we are now the involvement of the contrast agent. We also sure that the contrast will not go to other part of the left ventricle. At the end of the procedure, you can see that there is no any peak to peak gradient between the arch and the left ventricle. And as you see that there is a widening of the curious complexes. So we will observe the patient in intensive care unit. As you can intending our program, you are able to learn step by step this procedure. At the first day of this program, you can able to learn how to select the appropriate patient, how to manage coronary angiography, how to select the available septal artery and how to manage the complications. And on the second day of the, this program, you will also able to participate to practical seizures. And we have a two live cases with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and you can see all the steps of the alcohol septal ablation procedure. Have a good luck and we are waiting your attendance to our program.